Hare Krishna. So here's a question where a devotee asks that a devotee is doing a sadhana, chanting Hare Krishna, worshipping Lord Sri Krishna as usual. But uh, can he pray to any of the devatas for some material benefit? For example, we know that Lord Shiva is very merciful. He is known as Ashutosh. So can he pray for something? When asked why, this devotee says that because Krishna is very hard to please and uh, Krishna sometimes takes a long time. So can we pray to the devatas for some material benefit? Now to the answer to this, we have to understand. We see in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna himself says in the 7th chapter, 21st verse onwards. 21st verse, Krishna says how that the faith in any particular demigod, ultimately devata, comes from Krishna only. Krishna creates a faith. Why? Because that person has some desire. And then the next verse, he says that even the benefits that you get from those devatas, ultimately it's coming from Krishna. Then in the 23rd verse, Krishna gives a little criticism. He says that those are small intelligent people because they are worshipping me in the wrong way, in, in the indirect way. And then the 24th verse, he tells what is their gati, what is their destination for such people. So the principle here behind this is that when one comes to the understanding that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, because it's written and given in Shastras, one should now develop the faith in only the Lord. In uh, Chaitanya Charitamrit, uh, Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami lists the 26 qualities of a Vaishnava, a devotee. He gives various qualities. And in one of the qualities, is, which is the crown jewel of all the 26 qualities, is called Krishnaika Sharanam, taking exclusive shelter of only Krishna. Because um, we see this is uh, the nature of true love. Pure devotional service means true love. That when one loves someone, one only wants to take, seek recluse, seek shelter, seek everything in that one person. Now, for example, a child should seek nourishment and protection from the home. If the child seeks his nourishment, his or her nourishment or protection from outside, then there's no love in the family. Similarly, a man seeks his satisfaction in his home. He cannot seek satisfaction in another person's home or another relationship. That is not love, then that is you know cheating. So similarly for a devotee, they seek all their nourishment or satisfaction from Krishna only. So Krishna may delay in giving benedictions, that is okay, devotee will wait. Krishna may be not be easily pleased, that is okay. We trust in Krishna's omniscience, in Krishna's understanding. We trust in Krishna knows better. And therefore, because of this trust, we do not have expectation. Pure devotional service means there is no expectation. Ahai tuki. We don't think that, you know, I have done this much, Krishna, you should do this. We don't order Krishna. We understand he is a supreme controller. Nothing is without or beyond his control. And therefore, we take shelter of him. This is also what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. Sarva dharman parityaja maam ekam sharnam raja. So, Krishna is here not being a control you know, controlling type person or selfish God. But this is the very fact. The nature of pure devotional service is uh, ahetuki, which causeless love. Right? Love is beyond karma, beyond jnana, beyond any selfishness. Uh, if a devotee prays to Krishna, wanting Krishna, but then sidetracks and, you know, worships some other devata just to get some other benefits, that means he is not sincere. That means... The person knows that I know Krishna is getting it, but I still I want to cheat my way. That means the benefit or the goal or the prize that you're looking for is more important to us than Krishna himself. So this is actually cheating. Huh? So if anyone is in a relationship, they will understand that uh, how important is it one must be trustworthy and trustful and faithful to one's partner or, you know, or husband or spouse or whatever. Uh, children should be faithful to parents. Parents should be faithful to children. This is very important in relationship. So similarly, we also should be very faithful and uh, trustful in our relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead as Krishna. Therefore, that's why the uh, millions and millions of uh, devatas are created so that we can separate the faithful from the cheating. Uh, those who want just benefits, the selfish people, they will go after the devatas thinking that I'll get something. Although Krishna has clearly said that you love me. 
so devotees we respect the devatas we know their purpose position and power but we love krishna and we would not want to ask them for benefits we don't ask anyone even not only devatas we would not want to ask benefit from anyone but our mood is to give not to get to serve not to receive hare krishna